Did you know that Android is not the only operating system that you can run Android apps on natively? You can also run them on Chrome OS. My name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. And today I want to have a look at how you can run Android apps on your Chromebook using Chrome OS. So if you want to find out more, please let me explain. So hopefully you've seen my video on Chrome OS and what it can do for you and what it's all about. Now, if you haven't seen that, I will leave a link to it in the description below. And today I want to look at how you can run Android apps on your Chromebook. Now, all new models of Chromebook that are released support Android apps natively, and that's both on Intel-powered Chromebooks and also on ARM-powered Chromebooks. And there are lots and lots of Chromebooks that already have Android support built into them. And when you turn on your Chromebook, you will find the Google Play icon. Of course, Google Play is the store that you get all the apps on your Android phone. Now, if you go into Google Play, you'll basically find a whole plethora of different apps that you can install on your Chromebook. Chromebook. And there is even at the beginning a kind of an optimized for Chromebook section where Google recommends some really good apps that run really well on your Chromebook. Now, when you run an Android app on Chrome OS, we're not talking about some kind of emulation. They've actually built in the right framework into Chrome OS so that your app runs natively. That means that if it's on an ARM uh, chip, it will run using the ARM code. If it's on an Intel chip, it will run using the Intel code. Of course, most of the stuff is written in Java. So there's a Java virtual machine inside of Chrome OS that can run these apps just as well as it would run them on a smartphone or on a tablet. And there is interestingly an argument that says that actually Chromebooks with ARM processors in them are actually better at running Android apps than our Chromebooks with Intel processors in them. And that's of course because the majority of our smartphones and tablets all use ARM-based processors. And of course, when you take those apps that are already optimized for ARM and you bring them over to the Chromebook, they feel right at home and they're running on the same kind of processor as they would have expected to have been running on a smartphone. One interesting thing to note is that not all Chromebooks have touchscreen, and I've got some Chromebooks that don't have touchscreen, I've got some Chromebooks that do have touchscreen, and you must say that you do get a better Android experience if your Chromebook actually has a touch-sensitive screen on it. Now what happens is when you run an Android app, if it's designed to be kind of on a smartphone in portrait mode, then it will open up a portrait shaped window. In fact, you can open up several uh, Android apps and have them all one next to the other. And generally when you switch from one to the other, the first one will pause very much like as if you switched away from the app on the smartphone. And when you come back to it, it kind of resumes. If you're in the middle of a game, you kind of hit the resume button on the menu and you kind of carry on playing the game. But some apps also take full advantage of the full real estate. And so, for example, if you're using Microsoft Word, the Android app, Microsoft Word, when you run that on Chrome OS, it actually takes up the full screen and it feels like you're using actually a native word processor, uh, but at Microsoft Word, but you're running it on a Chromebook. I also was able to try out things like Adobe Photoshop and Filmgora, and they worked full screen. I was able to edit photos, I was able to edit video, all inside my Chromebook now, thankfully, because of the Android app support that you find built into it. I'd like to just mention at this point, if you're enjoying this video, please do give it a thumbs up at the end and please subscribe to our channel as we're trying to build up the number of subscribers here. Okay, let's carry on. You're also able to run Android games on your Chromebook without any problem. Obviously, simple games like Solitaire or something like that run uh, an absolute breeze. Slightly more complicated games like uh, Subway Surfer ran very, very well. And I found that you could also run even more complicated games. Some of these more sophisticated uh, first-person shooters ran without incident on the uh, Chromebook. Of course, there will be limitations to the hardware that you actually have inside your Chromebook in terms of the CPU and the GPU. But in principle, if you can run it on your smartphone, Phone, you can run it on a Chromebook. Overall, I would basically say you need to experiment to see what is the best app that works in that Chromebook format. If you're used to using a particular app on your smartphone, maybe it doesn't translate well over onto the kind of the big screen format. Maybe it doesn't use up all the screen. So maybe try playing around with a few others and I'm sure you'll find a solution that works really well for you. 
And so that's about it, Android apps on Chrome OS. It really is as simple as that. You just fire up the Play Store, pick the app you want and install it, and then it appears there on the app menu for you to run natively on your Chromebook. So think about it, if there was some functionality that you thought was not available on a Chromebook because it was web-based only, maybe you can find that functionality using an Android app. Well, my name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I want to say thanks very much for watching and well, that's about it. I'll see you in the next one.